Hugh Hefner thought he had found the love of his life, but she broke his heart and stole his dog, humiliating the playboy hunk in front of all the other bunnies at the mansion. I kind of knew that, uh, you know, I wasn't supposed to be feeling like this. The pain that Hefner's heart felt was palpable in his television appearances. But uh, in the weeks immediately afterward, as we got very close to the marriage, uh, you know, something was not right, but I didn't see it coming. I mean, I mean, I truly didn't see it coming. Everything seemed normal for the couple who were 85 and 25 years old, respectively. They had already celebrated two anniversaries and were all set for a dream marriage. 85 years of age, feeling good, looking good. How do you feel? <laughs> good. <laughs> That wasn't easy, was it? So, so the Crystal and Hugh looked happy in every single interview. And this is now going to be a completely conventional marriage, yes? Mm -hmm. Well, as conventional as my life ever becomes, yes. However, Crystal had other plans, and she went from being the favorite Playboy bunny to being the woman who humiliated Hugh Hefner in the worst possible way. Sunday night, uh, we started our Sunday movie, and during the movie, early in the movie, uh, she stepped out to apparently go to the bathroom, and when the film was over, I realized she was gone. Without warning or saying anything to Hugh, Crystal decided to run away. That wasn't all, however. She also took the octogenarian's most beloved dog with her. However, for Hefner's peace of mind, Crystal made a decision that helped the mogul to better cope with his grief. Uh, we had a dog, have a dog, Charlie, and I love the dog. She brought it back and uh, thought that I missed it more than she did. So she the consolation of having his beloved dog back didn't dispel the idea that even to those closest to them, their marriage was hopeless and there was little chance that it would ever prosper. Y había esta cierta desconfianza que seguramente percibió a Hugh Hefner toda su vida. El ¿Qué pasa con las casas fortunas? O cualquier mujer que se le acerque probablemente está detrás de su dinero. Entonces, fue, fue realmente esta, este foco lo, lo que generó muchísima más interés porque pues, parecía un hombre enamorado que había dicho muchísimos años antes que no volvería a caer en él. Cuando primero escuché que mi padre estaba getting married, diría que estaba un poco preocupado just porque de la edad de diferencia. La marriage es un much bigger commitment que estar en una relación. However, y despite the couple's public breakup, they would eventually end up getting married in 2013, in a ceremony that was attended by the most famous personalities in the world. The marriage would only last five years, because in 2017, Hefner passed away, leaving the former Playboy Bunny as the mogul's widow. I was such a part of Hef's world for 10 years, and you know, at the mansion most of the time, so I'm kind of trying to find myself and see what I like and... It was a roller coaster of emotions, as relationships tend to be. That's how Hugh Hefner lived out his last days with Crystal, after a very hard breakup where he thought the worst. If she was faking it, she did it very well. She certainly convinced me that she was... I wouldn't even contemplate the possibility of marriage if I didn't think that she was really, really committed to me. The marriage made him happy until the end of his life, proving to him that there was still room for love in his heart. We had a really good time together. I feel that, you know, I kind of helped him with the settling down a bit, and yeah, it was, it was nice. It, it worked. He was like a, he was much older, but he was like a little boy at heart always. Like a little boy whose dreams came true beyond anything he could have ever imagined. 